Today on Roy Spirits and Gear, we create a bass tone using Line 6 Helix. For most of my YouTube videos, I rely on a, a single bass tone that I have created within the Line 6 Helix. And forever, I have always used the Stingray bass in the bridge position. But lately, I have found that I really like the second to last position, uh, position number four, which is the inner coils of the two humbuckers, a, a lot more. So I wanted to create a tone based around that pickup selection uh, with the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray HH bass. So I thought we'd do that together. So you guys can follow along. I will be using HX Edit uh, desktop software that is hooked up to my Line 6 Helix rack, right to my right out of the camera peripheral. But trust me, it's here. So I'm going to start with a blank patch. Now, here's what the bass sounds like just completely by itself, the bass DI. Okay, sounds good right off the bat, but it could use a lot of punch, need a little compression and things like that. So um, with this patch, I'm just going to start kind of putting things that I know I want, components, uh, in the signal chain, and then we're going to go into each component and fine tune it in a specific order. So, the first thing I know I want in my patch is a compressor. So I'm gonna go to Dynamics. Um, probably LA Studio Comp is what I'm gonna choose. Now, we're not gonna worry about settings right now. Uh, second in my chain, I know I want some kind of dirt pedal. Um, and I know because last time I dialed in a tone, I didn't use it, so we'll use it this time. I'm gonna use the Obsidian 7000, which is basically a, a dark glass B7K. Okay. Uh, now for my amp. Um, I'm an Ampeg guy. I like the Ampeg. It's just kind of my go-to sound. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on guitar. Derp! Oh yeah, okay. Um, oh, there's Cali bass. I, I believe that's the, like the Maze Boogie 400. Ooh, I'm gonna turn the distortion off. Oh, this is also without a cab. Um. Uh, we'll go with the Cali 400 for now. Uh, now I'm going to choose a cabinet. Uh, we're going to go with a single. Um, let's try the 810. Or the 610. I like the 610's tightness. Because again, we are not on the bridge pickup. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so now I'm going to start dialing in. I'm gonna turn off the compressor. Um, first, I'm gonna dial in the mic of the cabinet. I really like the 84 condenser. What I am specifically listening for is a lack of mud because again, we are not in the bridge position. We are using both humbuckers uh, on the inside coils. I want tightness still that I would get normally from a bridge pickup. I'm gonna go with that. Now we're gonna, gonna go to the amp and we're gonna dial it in a little bit. I want some high mid range. I want a little bit more treble. Maybe a little bit 
more. That sounds pretty good to me. Now we're going to go over to the compressor. Turn it on. Now what I want to hear is the same output. I don't want to be using this as kind of a boost going into the amp because we already have a dirt pedal that we haven't messed with yet. So I want the same gain. I want unity gain, but I want some compression. There's a little bit of a gain boost, a volume boost. I'm going to turn the level down. I'm also going to turn the peak reduction up. I want a lot of compression. I'm gonna turn this off to make sure my volume's still good. Now I'm gonna turn the mix down just a little bit to get just a tiny bit of parallel compression. Meaning a little bit of the clean is gonna come through the non-compressed signal. I like that. Now we're gonna to go to the grit pedal. I don't know what this is gonna sound like. So that's like, ah. Too much, too much, man, too much. Um, let's see, distortion. I want this off. I'm turning the blend down. I don't want a ton of dirt. So we have a lot of volume being cut out with the pedal. So we need to put some of that back in. Want some high mid in, low mids. I don't want a lot. I don't want a lot of bass either. The drive pedal is specifically, I turn on and off depending on the song and what's happening and how busy the part is. So this part I really think of as optional. It sounds kind of scooped to me. We're gonna turn down the blend a little bit more. We're gonna go half, a 50% blend. I'm gonna turn the drive up a little bit. I'm gonna turn the high mid up a little bit. Mm. This isn't really doing it for me, honestly. See, this is why I didn't use it last time. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm gonna try a Tube Screamer. Now, obviously there's no blend. I'm kind of liking it without. We'll go back to the obsidian. There's a lot of low in there. The high mid frequency.
gonna turn down the bass. I'm hearing some muddiness that I don't like. I'm just not digging that, man. I'm gonna go back to the amp. I want a tiny bit of grip, but I'm not getting it from a pedal. I'm gonna turn the drive up on the amp and see what happens. Turn some of the high mid and mid range down. You know what? I'm gonna call that good. I will put this patch in the description of this video if you guys wanna download it on the Custom Tone website. You know what? There you go. That goes to show you that you don't always have to have a dirt pedal in order to get the definitive tone. I just, I'm not, it's not jiving with what I'm looking for. Um, if I do wanna add a little bit of grit, I can do that in post depending on the track, but as a base patch, a base, B-A-S-E, base, base patch, this is exactly what I was I was hoping to achieve with the Line 6 Helix, and I will be using this going forward with this bass. I hope we, you, have got, you guys have enjoyed that. Um, I hope this has been informative, and uh, I hope it helps you dial in your own tone as well. I'll pick up the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.